Now, the medical science say that I'm a quad. Yeah. I do not blame medical science for making that statement because my race has never done anything on that level of the devil to express itself able to cure diseases on that level, in, in other words. Mm -hmm. So, sure, I'm a quad, but I don't care what they say. Yeah. What I was concerned with, not medical science, mm -hmm. because I know that they're the one that is violating. I am not the violator. Hippocrates did not establish the school of medicine by using chemicals, mm -hmm. because the chemicals cannot assimilate. A chemical cannot assimilate with the human body. An herb can because they are electrical. Okay. Herbs are electrical. And we have yet to understand that. I was concerned with the black leadership of America, not medical science. When I had cured these people of sickle cell and lupus and herpes and blindness, I was happy. I said, now I, I could go to all the leaders. I could go to Minister Fayakar. I could go to Jesse Jackson. I could go to Art Sharpton. I could go to Oprah Winfrey. But what I found out, I was mistaken. I was wrong. They are not interested in the healing of any black people. That's an explosive claim. That is not an explosive statement. That is a reality. There isn't a black leader in America that is interested in the health of the black race. You say that because they refuse to interact with you? They are not in the position to respond. If they were, my first case of AIDS was cured in 1984. And since then, we've been curing people of lupus and herpes and cancer and blindness. Not one black leader ever said, well, that doesn't have the brother. <laughs> that you just mentioned what some people in hushed tones refer to as the C word, cancer. I have friends right now that have been victimized by that scourge of a disease. One, no, two, two fairly close to me who have been going through chemotherapy. We just recently had, we just recently had the Lieutenant Governor from the state of Maryland and the governor of Maryland is, has cancer and he's been going through chemotherapy treatments and he talked about how devastating those treatments were. So you obviously don't treat with chemo. Why? Is it wrong for a or is it wrong for a cancer patient to be treated with chemotherapy? Chemotherapy is an approach that destroys cells. Chemotherapy doesn't distinguish between good cells and bad cells. Mm -hmm. It destroys cells. It's an acid approach. What kind of approach? Acid. Why oh, acid approach? Okay. Mm -hmm. My approach is an intracellular cleansing. What causes disease in the first place? An acid condition. Well, let us sweep it out. Let us find the plants that are consistent with cleansing. You see, we just begin to wake up. We just begin to realize that we are way in a deep deficit. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean that we have never spent time in analyzing or even trying to understand the difference in our <laughs> genetical predisposition. We have never understood the science of biochemistry. All of the folks that have come to, that have came to us, they came to us with history, bunch of history, a lot of religion, a lot of philosophy, but none of them came with a food that would help me to live as healthy as I possibly can. Look carefully. We're not going to make excuses no more. 
Because if you, we continue to make excuses, we're going to go deeper into the deficit. Mm -hmm. Just recently, a report came out that the Christian diet need to be examined, re-examined. Because in the Christian diet, you have people eating hog, potatoes, rice, and beans. But if we take this substance to a biochemist, he's not going to find any food in any of these substances. So why do we eat these things? Then we get sick. I always use that black woman in the jungle. For some reason, she keeps showing up. This black woman in the jungle keeps showing up as setting the standards and raising the bar. Tell me, tell, tell me what you refer to when you say this black woman in the jungle. Oh, I mean, this woman was the woman that set the standard. This woman didn't die because of disease. She didn't have any hospitals in the jungle. She didn't have any doctors. <clears throat> she didn't have any medicine. That's why Hippocrates said that your medicine should be your food or your food should be your medicine. Because the African people didn't have a doctor. They didn't need them. Because they didn't have any of the substance that would violate the biology of the individual. So how long did they live? Do you and I know how long those Africans lived in the forest of Africa before the chemical people came? Furthermore, my mama wasn't naked. She was natural. Because to say that my mama was naked in the forest is to say that God made clothes. You, I mentioned Michael Jackson. You talked about your experience with him. I remember 